222 day we will talk about XRP and the ILP and how ISO digital token identifiers will lead to the adoption of crypto assets. Only ISO cryptocurrencies that are assigned a digital token identifier will achieve higher trading volumes and widespread acceptance and it can act as a catalyst for widespread institutional adoption which can facilitate price discovery in the here is an explanation of what a digital token identifier is PIF is a non-profit division of e-trading software responsible for issuing and maintaining DTIs digital token identifiers DTI is an ISO standard that enables unique identification of digital tokens facilitating much needed transparency in the digital asset space why is it so critical to identify digital tokens? Let's look at bond issuance to highlight this. Traditional bond issuance is a well-established process. Trading venues and central security depositories are well-regulated and known to all market participants. A combination of ISOs and MIPS is enough for regulators to understand the details of the bond and which venues it is traded and settled on. The inherent risks associated with a bond transaction are easily calculated, facilitating market transparency for participants and regulators alike. Increasingly, bonds are being issued as digital tokens on blockchains. While there are tremendous benefits of this new process, it's important to note that the increased transparency may be deceptive and limited to active participants of the blockchain. In fact, for regulators, transparency has actually diminished, and new risks for trading and settlement have emerged that need to be addressed. The problems start immediately, as a token can be issued on one or multiple blockchains. Currently, the identity of the blockchain might not be known at the time of the issue, so participants and regulators have no way of knowing which blockchain a bond is stored on, let alone the inherent risk of that particular blockchain. Furthermore, the vast majority of blockchains are unregulated, giving rise to additional risks to trading and settlement. Without regulation, there is no supervision, no enforcement, no effective transparency. It's like going back to the financial wild west of the 80s. DTIS Digital Token Identifier, DTI, resolves these issues by linking traditional issuance to digital. The ISIN identifies the asset, while DTI can identify the tokenized asset and where it's implemented. It's the key to unlock all of the benefits of trading on the blockchain. The DTI identifies which blockchain the token is stored on and links the blockchain to the instrument, tracking all transfers and ownership information across blockchains. As a result, the DDI can enable regulators to analyze raw data from any specific DLT financial instrument on the blockchain for the specific risks associated, understand the financial instruments at risk of the blockchain suffers an operational outage or event, and help identify, track, and analyze any price discrepancies where a financial instrument is on multiple blockchains. Using the DTIF digital token identifier will ultimately make trading on blockchains a safer and more transparent world, allowing participants and regulators to reap the benefits of digital tokens while minimizing the risks. So now that we understand, what a digital token identifier is and the importance of it and its impacts on crypto overall. There are a lot of implications for XRP in particular and Ripple and XRP are extremely interconnected into the new financial infrastructure as I t t talk about pretty often on here. You constantly have examples of how providing infrastructure for institutions that, that is ISO 222 compliant. And it is oftentimes one of the few companies that is always called out as a player in DLT application. And a lot of that is because of the ILP, which is pretty much a network that connects different industry applications into institutions. Even though we still have a lot of controversy in regards to crypto and ISO 222, which is not about the crypto asset itself, it is about the coding in the transaction messaging itself. We can plainly hear that crypto is called out as being involved in the ISO 222 message itself. ISO 222 will level playing field in between simple and complex transactions between traditional currencies and CBDCs and perhaps fiat and crypto which is becoming even more true because of the rise of stable coins such as USDC and RLUSD. Here we are able to see an example of how the digital token identifier is called out within ISO 222 files and how it is only for instruments identified a digital token identifier. Here is an example of the code that has Ripple's digital token identifier, and it clearly calls out XRP.
DTI will be a part of a bridge in between the traditional and tokenized infrastructure in processing financial instruments. All ISO 222 securities messages can include the above mentioned ISO standards, including the DTI. The release of the DTI standard allowed crypto to be recognized as a legitimate currency under the ISO system. Cryptos accepted into the ISO payment system will gain the ability to be utilized in international transactions and between financial institutions. ISO digital token identifier equals interoperability, which is one of the core concepts of XRP and the ILP. Ripple is one out of only 100 cryptos that has a digital token identifier with a clear use case according to ISO 24165 that it could be involved in payments services. And all of this really stands out in regards to one of the statements I had at the start that was about ISO cryptos achieving higher trading volumes, which can eventually end up in price discovery. With the timing of MICA over in the EU and how RLUSD is intending to be compliant and how it includes digital token identifiers, connections to, and the implications of XRP are pretty clear if you are able to read in between lines.